ICTSI has 25 years of experience in developing and operating container terminals around the world with a specific focus on gateway terminals and expertly handling import and export cargo flows. Our portfolio is made up of 27 container terminals spread across 20 countries on five continents. ICTSI and Angloports are proud to present their proposed development for the Web Dock Container Terminal and Empty Container Park in the Port of Melbourne, Australia's leading container port. With a total capacity of 1.4 million TEU for the terminal and 350,000 TEU for the ECP, the complete terminal footprint is optimized to deliver the best possible value for the port and city of Melbourne while addressing all concerns from the surrounding communities. The terminal and ECP are completely paperless. The gates utilize state-of-the-art technology and interface with the one-stop booking system. A purpose-built traffic analytics solution allocates booking slots based on a wide range of criteria to minimize the impact on urban traffic and optimize transport industry arrangements. At the Gates portal, fully automated optical character recognition, biometric security systems and TOS interfaces identify and validate transactions and inform truck drivers where to proceed. The yard is managed with automated stacking cranes or ASCs, which handle the interchange between trucks and the container stacking blocks. For safety reasons, the truck driver stays in a cubicle equipped with ground sensors throughout the loading and unloading operation. When fully developed, the terminal will be fitted with 14 container storage blocks, each equipped with two twin ASCs. The ASCs are able to stack containers up to 5 high and 10 wide. They optimize stacking and annual throughput capacity, as well as efficiently support landside and quayside operations. Running on electrical power, ASC operations minimize noise impact and light pollution during night operations and generate no greenhouse gas emissions. The yard is designed to deliver the highest levels of productivity while employing the best in proven technology in order to deliver a level of performance and environmental compliance unrivaled in Australia. Automated Container Carriers, or ACCs, provide the horizontal transport between the container storage blocks and the backreach of the ship-to-shore cranes. On full build-out, the terminal will possess 21 ACCs that can operate as part of a pool and independently of ASC cranes and ship-to-shore cranes. ACCs are fully controlled by the terminal operating and logistics systems and are powered by a low emission and low fuel consumption engine with electric governing. ACCs allow the terminal to decouple transport between the cranes and the yard and thus deliver the highest levels of productivity needed by larger ships requiring shorter and shorter port stays. On the quay side are six twin-lift post-Panamax ship-to-shore gantry cranes capable of operating alternative hatches with an outreach of 18 rows across deck. The decoupled ACC configuration provides significant operational benefits and supports average ship-to-shore crane productivity above 30 moves per hour, as validated by dynamic simulation models.
The Ship to Shore cranes feature a lashing platform that allows stevedores to safely remove or add twist locks to containers being loaded or discharged. State-of-the-art and proven technology, equipment, and processes, coupled with a focus beyond the boundaries of the terminal, will provide significant value to POMC, the Australian logistics industry, and the Victorian economy, and will guarantee successful coexistence with the City of Melbourne. Positioning the Web Dock Terminal and ECP as the premier container terminal in Australia.